Until I get put under So for the first step, I'm placing the rhinestones in front of the furniture piece. Es colequear los diamantes de imitación en frente de la pieza. Los colores que estoy usando ahorita es um, plata. The color that I'm using right now front is silver. So I've had this furniture piece for a long time now. <laughs> and I like to recycle it. Ha tenido este mueble durante mucho tiempo. Y cuando digo mucho tiempo, tiene mucho tiempo. Y me gusta reciclarlo. Um, y pues hoy es una oportunidad de hacer un altar. So I found the opportunity to make an altar with it. Recycle. As I continue adding rhinestones to the center, I'm creating my own style. So whatever style you want to create, do it. Just be artistic when it comes to making your own custom altar. Sigo agregando los diamantes de imitación al centro y creo que mi propio estilo y cualquier estilo que tú quieras hacer hazlo sea artístico cuando se trata de hacer tu propio altar personal. And here I already started placing the rhinestones. I used two different shades of blue. I started creating a swirl and then filled the empty uh, space. And I left a full set and then I did a single set and continued. Y aquí ya habrá comenzado a colocar las diamantes de imitación. Use dos tonos diferentes de azul. Comencé a crear un remolino y luego llenar los espacios um, vacíos. Dejé el set completo y luego hice un set solo. Here I added orange rhinestones in a single line going down. Y aquí agregué diamantes de imitación naranjados en una sola línea. Okay. Um, so I'm here with my niece, um, Isa, and Hi. she's going to be helping me just finish off making the flowers. I already started making the flowers, and I think it's really important that you pass this on, um, bringing it down to generations and generations, the stories, you know, it's more than just creating an altar. Um, bonito de hacer un altar es más de significar una ofrenda, es de compartir los las memorias que dejaron tus familiares, es compartir los gustos de ellos, qué le gustaron a ellos, qué significaba su vida o estaban aquí, especialmente para mi mi sobrina, ella no conoció a mis papás, hermana y mis hermanos. So es algo que es bien bonito y significante para mí y yo creo también para mis hermanas también. So this is very memorable because it's more than just an offering and an altar. This is where you get to share memories um, with generations. Like my niece, um, I mentioned, my niece doesn't, she never got the chance, the opportunity to meet her grandparents and to meet my sister and brother. So this is a beautiful moment where you can share the memories and share what they liked. And, you know, when you go through pictures and stuff, the pictures that you can show that, you can talk about it and something that you can pass on to generations. So I'm gonna teach her how to create this flower and it's very simple, it's nothing too fancy. We're gonna do this. Y ahorita vamos a hacer una replicación de esta flor. Es um, básico, no, no es nada difícil de hacer. Um, so let's create a flower, okay? So I get me. what you're gonna need is tissue paper. So we're gonna need tissue paper and I'm using sewing uh, string and you can also use like a bendy kind of a, a bendy kind of straw type of thing, something that is bendable or you can tie. Um, this is something I mean I already have so I'm gonna use. Uh, and you're gonna need um, safety pins as well. So you're gonna use this one. What you're gonna need is scissors. Uh, I use the sewing um, string and we have some safety pens and we have the tissue paper that we're going to be using. So this is what we're going to do. So Isa, you wanted blue, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to need three sheets. Well, I mean, eight sheets total. So we have three. Two, is that like a whisting of paper? Two. What was that? Is that like a whisting of paper? 
What do you mean that's a wasting of paper? Oh, I thought you meant like eight sheets of these. Yeah, you're gonna need eight sheets of these. But no. these are just two. We're gonna split them up into eight. So you got the tissue paper, we're gonna use two. So you have to, I'm gonna start it off for you. Fold it forward and Two then fold size. it down. You understand? Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna totally. do is, once you have it folded, you're gonna fold it forward. Keep folding. And then you're gonna fold it on the opposite direction down and then vice versa. Once you have, once you have this, you want to put hold it in the center. You can fold it like that, so it like gives you that kind of. It stays that way. double tie it okay mm -hmm. this part is not gonna show so you're gonna be okay have that and what you're gonna do is just pinch at the bottom and you're gonna kind of fluff this fluff it and kind of and this is how you have your flowers you want to show your flower yeah and then you have it pinched here at the bottom what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a safety pin okay um the safety pin is gonna go i'm gonna are you, can you use the safety pin? Yeah. The safety pin is going to go at the bottom. Like that. Okay. And we're going to hold it there and then we're going to do the arc. We're going to finish doing the arc. Push it here. Push it. Y aquí estamos doblando el papel de seda de un lado al otro lado. Y seguir la misma repito. Aquí ya lo estoy usando el hilo para amarrar todo junto y cuando lo amarro de allí lo doblo para poder subir la papel de seda para arriba para convertir ese papel en una forma de una flor. I'm <laughs> to do the 
flowers. So, oh, I think I don't right now. Layers of the flower. We only have five. Each of the candles is a light way for our family members to come. One is from our mom and her baby, my dad, my sister, and my brother. The first picture that I put up is my mom and my dad and my brother, another one of my little brother, my sister. Las fotos que tengo en el altar son de mis padres, mi hermanito y de mi hermana. My sister, my brother. This is a picture when we're on our first vacay. Lots of beautiful memories that I've shared. You know, it was a short time that I had, but it's definitely a lifetime of memories. Aunque tuve un poco de tiempo de tener mi familia, estas memorias me van a me dan felicidad primeramente y me van a durar todo mi vida. Hasta que Dios me lo permita estar en este mundo. I'm happy and blessed. You know, obviously, thinking back and stuff, you are going to be sad, of course. But, you know, there's so much more to my story. And there's so much more to their story that I want people to know about. That, you know, in the end of the day, family is such a powerful thing. Love and unity and hard workers and... I just, there's so much words that I can, feel like words can't even describe, you know, the gratitude and how blessed I am that I had my parents that were so loving and their love that they had, like, that's the kind of love I want. <laughs> so it's, it's such a beautiful thing and it's so beautiful just looking at this and their journey and their life and look back and I love hearing stories that my grandma would say every time I go, my grandma is just amazing and I continue to go because I continue to hear new stories that I've never heard before. And here I'm just placing different flowers just all over it. Like in Mexico, you will see people put natural flowers. It's just beautiful how much they put it all over um, las tumbas. But also just doing the altares, they're just gorgeous. Unfortunately, I haven't been at that time of year to do it for my family. But I have been in Mexico and witnessed, you know, the traditions and it is beautiful and it's just amazing, you know, how much they put into it, this tradition, this holiday, this celebration that embarks our identity, embarks who we are. And this watch is actually my dad's. Here I'm just placing a cup. Each of the cups are gonna have water. And that's for thirst. It's believed that the spirits come around this time of year. To me, it's definitely like, in, you just know. To me, I always think about them. To me, I feel like they're always with me. So, you know, I love doing this because it is part of my culture and traditions. It's definitely, even if you don't believe it, you believe it in a way that they're here with you regardless.
And here I picked out five colorful flowers, one representation of my dad, my mom and her unborn son, my sister and my little brother covered in white flowers surrounding the colorful ones. As I'm doing my bed, I get so many mixed emotions of sadness, of joy, of missing them. You know, life goes on so fast and we don't realize how fast it goes until you take a minute to just not think, not do anything, and looking at their pictures is just like, take a pause in the moment to, mem to remember them, <clears throat> to have memories come together. It's a beautiful thing. And you know, this has been my first Alitar for celebration. I've done ones before, but more of their memory of when they passed away and their anniversary. You know, I, I'm happy, you know, obviously I'm sad because I don't have them with me, but if I did have them with me, I know they would be really proud. <laughs> and I know that they would, even if they had to pull me by the ear <laughs> or something, that they would be in my life. That's one thing, though, when you have to deal with losing a loved one. When they're no longer in your life. It's just crazy when you don't think about it so much. When you think about it, it's like, wow. A lot of people take for granted of what they have. You don't really know until you lose it. To be able to know the pain and acknowledge that, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you don't look, you don't know what you got till it's gone. Oh, you're making a video? Here you just add as many flowers as you can <laughs> and make it beautiful to your liking. A tu gusto como te gusta. Aquí pues no encontré las flores que normalmente um, ocupan para las altares, pero los más cerca que podía encontrar los encontré. So that's what I have. I couldn't find the day of the dead flower, which is very simple. But not covering his face. Yeah. And this is one of the breads. This is a smaller version of the pan de muerto. It's a larger version. They're really good, by the way. That's for Hema. Hema, they got donut bread. No, not donut bread. This is bread. So each light is for the pathway for them to come. On the first is for the young kids, and then the second for the adults when you light up their candle. Mm -hmm. 